Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be filming another tag and this is the Sunkissed Summer Tag and I got tagged by my friend Siri. I will leave her video down below so you can check her out. And before I start this tag, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not the biggest summer fan. I know, I live in sunny San Diego. It's basically summer all year round and I just don't like it. I hate being all sweaty. It is just ridiculously hot. I am more of a winter, like really cold weather type of girl, gloomy, rainy weather, that's that's my type of weather. <laughs> I am sitting here in my room filming this video with two huge blocks of ice, okay? <laughs> that's how hot it is in my room and this is keeping me sort of cool and then I have my drink back there which is Gatorade because I am scared that I'm gonna get dehydrated and I wouldn't want to pass out in the middle of filming this video, that would be really dumb. <laughs> So yeah, that's how I'm keeping myself cool. Blocks of ice and Gatorade. Woohoo! <laughs> But um, I know a lot of people that have been filming this tag love summer, love the beach and all that stuff. But I know there's people out there just like me that complain about the heat and sweating and all these things that come along with summer. And plus in this tag there's a lot of like product recommendations and I love giving product recommendations. So that's why I'm filming this tag. So let's get started because there's 18 questions. There's quite a lot. So let's get started. Question number one. What is your go-to product for a sun-kissed summer glow? So I have two products that I really love for a summer glow. <laughs> and it's this one by Kolali. This is their mineral bronzing powder, which looks like this. It is a matte powder. I picked this up while I was studying abroad in France. Looks like it, it kind of looks a lot darker, but actually it suits my skin and I have really fair skin. So this powder I really, really like. And if I want my milky white legs to get a little more color, I reach for this product by Corora. It is their CC cream. It is just very easy self tanner. I don't use it very often, but if I do want a little bit more color, I just go for this because it's just a very easy product to use. It is self tanning for noobs. Question number two, what book would you recommend for a summer read? I honestly don't have any book recommendations. I haven't read a book for leisure in years. I know that's bad, <laughs> but studying French and reading a lot of French literature and I don't know, it just wore me out. I am like... I'm, I can't say that I'm sick of books in general, but I just don't want to pick up a book at the moment. I read a lot of blogs and articles and magazines, but books, I haven't read one for leisure in years. Question number three, what is your signature summer scent this year? I am obsessed with perfume, so I have quite a lot in my collection, but these two are standout perfumes in my collection. This one is by Bath & Body Works. This is the White Citrus Scent. If you really love citrusy scents, then this, this is the mother of all citrus scents. It is so invigorating and energizing, and when I spritz it on, I'm just like, <sighs> I feel like I'm in inside of a lemon. Oh, that sounds very weird, but it is very, very citrusy, and I love it. And then this one I spoke about in my July favorites, and this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Perfume, which is a floral and citrusy scent. It is a very fresh scent, and I'm not going to continue with my weird descriptions. <laughs> it is just a very lovely scent for summer, and this one is a really great summer scent as well. Question number four, the sun is shining and it's time to go outside. No, it's not. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do? I'm gonna stay inside. I really dislike going outside when it's really, really sunny because then I get sunburn and then I'm in a bad mood and then I'm sweating like I am right now. I am sweating bullets. Question number five, you're on the boardwalk and your stomach is grumbling. What is your go-to summer beach food? Being Mexican and from Southern California, my go-to summer beach food would be seafood tacos, fish tacos. Oh, they're just the best, especially if you actually head down to the border, maybe Rosarito, Ensenada, those areas, they have really good fish tacos, shrimp tacos, um, there's octopus tacos, calamari. They just have, it's the shit. It is the shit. It is amazing, especially with some really spicy salsa, a creamy white sauce, and that is my go-to summer beach food. I am making myself hungry right now. I really want some fish tacos at the moment, but. Question number six, sunscreen is always important, but it's a must in summer. What's your favorite? 
My all-time favorite sunscreen for my face has to be from Aven. This is the Aven Very High Protection Emulsion Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 plus. It has UVA, UVB protection. So this, this is some very strong stuff right here. And I just love it because it's very gentle on my skin. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't make me produce more oil. It just is a very, very great facial sunscreen. So I highly recommend anything by Aven or anything by a French pharmaceutical brand because they're just very, very effective and gentle. And for my body, I really love this one by Hawaiian Tropic. Yes, the one that gave me the white booger on my nose and my July favorites. <laughs> this is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion Sunscreen. It is just a very quick and easy product to use. It is a lotion and sunscreen. So it's a two-in-one product. I just apply it all over my skin and it moisturizes and it protects my skin. Question number seven, after a day in the summer sun and heat, what do you do to cool off? So here's what I do to cool myself off. As soon as I get back into my room, I change out of my clothes, put on my pajamas, and I head downstairs to the kitchen. I grab the biggest water bottle available, fill it up with ice, fill it up with water, then I go into my room, then I turn off the fan to the highest level possible, then I lay down on my bed, grab my laptop with the fan facing me, then I just sit there and watch YouTube videos. That's all I do to cool myself off. Question number eight, how do you wear your hair in the summer? This is how I've been wearing my hair in the summer because I'm in the process of growing out my pixie. Last year, I barely did anything. I would just like wake up, wash my hair, and then that was good because I had a pixie cut. And I'm starting to miss the pixie cut right about now because I just hate the feeling of like <laughs> the neck sweat. It is just very weird and I do not like it. But still, I really like short hair. So I've been just putting some hair product and letting it air dry. That's all I do because I cannot be bothered styling my hair. Question number nine, must have nail polish for summer 2014. So here are the nail polish that I've been loving. I do not have just one must have because I have a lot of nail polishes. <laughs> so I really like my nail polishes. One that I really love is a white nail polish. This is by Sally Hansen and this is white on just your regular standard white nail polish and I really love green polishes during the summer and this one's by Rimmel. I showed it in one of my recent videos I believe and this is the Rimmel London 60 seconds and do not disturb which is a really bright bright green and then I like this one too which is a pastel green and this is by Julep and the color is cam with a K. Question number 10. Sometimes it feels good to chill out and watch Netflix. What show slash movies do you recommend for summer? So I am the worst when it comes to TV shows and movies, but if I had to choose a TV series for the summer, it would have to be Anthony Bourdain, no reservations, or Anthony Bourdain anything because I love Anthony Bourdain and this is not the first time that I mentioned him, but I love him and I want to be like him and I wish I could be his like apprentice or something because that would be the coolest thing ever. But other than Anthony Bourdain, because I love me some Anthony Bourdain. And as for movies, I would watch anything by Wes. Anderson, I just really love his movies, or anything with Jason Schwartzman in there because I also love myself some Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> Question number 11, do you wear liquid foundation, BB cream, or tinted moisturizer in the summer? In the summer, I just basically wear anything that's really lightweight. So I have BB creams, I have lightweight foundations, and I also have mineral foundation. I really don't have any tinted moisturizers, but basically BB cream is a tinted moisturizer in my opinion. So anything lightweight, I love. Question number 12. It is super bright outside. Do you reach for sunglasses or a hat? If it's super bright outside like it is today and almost every single day, I will reach for sunglasses because I have a ginormous head and it is very hard to find a hat that fits my head. I only, I've only found two hats that fit my head and when I wear them, there's one, one of the hats I feel like Indiana Jones when I wear it and everybody teases me that I'm wearing an Indiana Jones hat like my mom and my boyfriend. So I just rather stick to, <laughs> to sunglasses and these are the newer ones that I got. These are the Warby Parker ones that I purchased and these are the only ones that I can actually see. Question number 13, what is your summer jam this year? Anything by Chromeo. Question number 14, 
Question number 14. Do you have a summer bucket list? If so, share some things on the list. I am not a fan of bucket lists. I really don't like doing stuff like that. I try to live in the moment and enjoy each day as they come. So I try not to do that. The only type of goal that I had this summer was to be a little bit more spontaneous, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, I really haven't planned anything other than Outside Lands, which I bought tickets for like, I don't know, like in February or March. I don't even remember. But yeah, I don't have any type of bucket list or anything. That's not my thing. Question number 15, bikini, tankini, or one piece? So I really don't go to the beach or pool, and I really don't own that many swimsuits. And the only one that I have in my room is this one that I bought when I was studying abroad, and I only wore it once, and I was in Barcelona. <laughs> and it is by H&M, so it's just a bikini, and this is the top. It looks like a bra, and that's why I bought it, because I have big boobs. So <laughs> this one has an underwire, so it gives you a lot of support, and then it also has a nice thick strap so it gives you even more support because if you have big boobs, support is a really big deal. And it's super bright pink. I normally don't go for pink but this just enhances my paleness so I really like that. <laughs> and it also has gold details so I just really like the fact that it was comfortable, it would support my boobs and keep them really secure and it felt comfortable so yeah. And also I forgot to mention it has little like silicone so it's definitely not gonna slip. Nothing is gonna go wrong with this one. And then for bottoms, they're also from H&M and they're just these ones which kind of look like, I don't know, like paint. <laughs> like there's paint splattered all over them so I don't know, I just like them and they match the top so that's why I got these ones. Question number 16, summer means heat and sweat. What is your favorite sweat proof product this year? So one of my favorite sweat proof products has to be this one by Urban Decay. It is a D-Slick and this is an oil control makeup setting spray. So I really love this and any eyeshadow that promises to be waterproof. I have this one by Maybelline. This is a Maybelline color tattoo and this is by Stila. This is the Stila Smudge Crayon Waterproof Eye Primer and Eyeshadow. So anything that's waterproof and it's meant to last a lot of hours, I just really love. And also for the lips, I really like anything that's like a balm, I don't know, like a liquid lip balm type of thing, and this one's by L'Oreal, but anything. The All May ones, the NYX Butter Glosses, the Revlon one. Question number 17. Summer wouldn't be complete without a scoop or two of ice cream. If you could create your own ice cream flavor, what would it be? If I could create an ice cream flavor, I would create a flavor that I already tasted but I haven't found here in San Diego. And this ice cream I had when I visited Seattle and it was a rose water ice cream. It was so delicious. It was rose water and then it had pieces of baklava inside. It was the best tasting ice cream I've ever had. So refreshing and just interesting. Like I've never had an ice cream with rose water before so I just loved it. Especially because I had little pieces of baklava so it was even better. Another ice cream flavor that's not available here in the US is Speculos ice cream or Speculos gelato. I love Speculos so with ice cream it's even better. And in France had little pieces of the Speculos cookies in there so it was just delicious. So that's it for the Sun Kiss Summer Tag. I am still sweating bullets right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will tag some people down below, so please make sure to click the info box so you can see if I tagged you. But I can tag all of you if you want, especially if you love summer. I know I was not the kindest person to summer, but you know what? This tag was really fun to film, so I really enjoyed myself. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. And if your neighbor likes to mow the lawn, every single time you record the video, make sure to tell him to shut up. Okay, I'll see you guys very soon. <laughs> Bye!